This might just be the most misunderstood town in all of Britain. Welcome to beautiful Dover. This is a town that is always hitting the headlines, but usually for all the wrong reasons. Whether it be reports of traffic chaos at the port, controversial images being projected onto the iconic white cliffs, news articles about illegal immigration, or just disappointed cruise passengers with only a few hours to explore and who were expecting something different to the part of town they ended up in. Well, there is always two sides to every story, so let us show you a different side of town. Well, what an absolutely beautiful morning and what a beautiful place to start our day exploring Dover. Luckily for us, they've got a cafe. And you know what's in a cafe? Coffee. And food. That too. As you can see, I've come dressed for summer. Josh has come dressed like Elvis from Jailhouse Rock. Let's hear the one for the money, a two for the show. Let's go and get coffee. Let's go, 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 come on. Let's go and get coffee now. I was waiting for a comment. <laughs> Leave me alone. I wanted to wear stripes today. Leave me alone. So this is actually one of Dover's gems. There's two sides to the park. Where we had coffee is Kearsney Abbey, and then a hop, skip, and a jump over the road is Russell Gardens. And I think this side is our favourite Definitely. because it's got all like these little covered bridges. I mean, look at this, Venice, eat your heart out. Apart from when it's flooded. Apart, well, yeah, but Venice <laughs> floods, look, just like Venice. It's all flooded at the moment. It's, I don't think I've ever seen this this high. It's just all the little waterfalls can't cope with it. The paths are literally shut down there because it's all running around the side of the thing. One thing we did notice though, the water is crystal clear and we don't know, well we assume, it's because the water is flowing so much, it's crystal clear. So clear, you could drink it. No, <laughs> this is brought water, not gathered water. Just like being in Verona. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Is that Verona? Anyway, we could stay here literally all day soaking up the sun rays and just relaxing, but we've got a lot to do and a lot to explore today, so onwards. Now this has to be one of the most underrated museums because it's completely free to get in and it looks like they knew we were coming because they've rolled out the big guns even if the people are tiny but they are tiny creepy people and they're not the only creepy mannequins in here. Ron Stewart? And another thing, this place has free public toilets so remember that We one. never knew that. No? We never saw that before no? and we've just discovered this bit here just past the Bronze Age boat we never knew this existed before either. So this is a completely new part of the museum. It's even bigger than we thought it was in the first place. Yep, I'm sure this bit was closed. I don't know. This has to be the main attraction of this museum though. This is the Bronze Age boat. Genuine three and a half thousand year old remnants of a boat. She isn't gonna float. <laughs> I don't think she I can is. tell you now, she's not gonna float. Pop the kettle on. Fancy a coffee, mate. Even better, I could do with a sandwich. Sandwich? There's somebody over in the other mu the other part of the museum that's holding the sandwich. When I say somebody, it's like a half a mannequin. And apparently he crossed over the English Channel twice, once each way. First person to do that in a rowing boat in 13 hours. With a sandwich? With a sorry, <laughs> I don't know about with a sandwich. sandwich but <laughs> This museum is a true hidden gem, and every time we visit, we seem to be the only people in it. There are a few interactive displays dotted around the place, some cool models made entirely from bone, and given Dover's location, of course, there are plenty of exhibitions dedicated to its rich wartime history. Then, like any museum, there is the obligatory dead body section, although we think these ones are just replicas. Anyway, time for that sandwich. Oh, 
Oh my God, that place was a hidden gem. I'm so glad we decided to go there. Yeah, we've been wanting to go there for a little while and we've never got around to doing it. So it is an absolute hidden, it's like a treasure trove inside of just all these artifacts. It's really cool. I did notice just as we were about to leave as well, there's all like inscriptions on the floor, like all writing on the wooden boards. It's just tiny little detail. And we hadn't even mentioned the food yet. The food was actually really nice. Like, and that was really a bargain, nice. £7.50 for that big open sandwich, chips yeah. and salad. That, I mean, you can't even get a McDonald's meal for that nowadays. You really can't. They've even got a beer garden out the back where you can sit, which we would have done. However, as you know, I've dressed for summer and although the sun's come out, the wind's decided to come out to play it's as well. It's a little bit chilly. It was warmer earlier, but I'm it seems to have getting a little bit cold. I might need to put my hoodie on. We'll put it on for this bit, I think. And I think maybe when we're away from the coasty, beachy bit. Oh yeah, welcome to Dover Seafront, by the way. Yeah. Good thing is we can now go and walk off our lunch and this is the perfect place to do it. This is actually the new marina curve. Funnily enough, when we were in the museum a little while ago, mm -hmm. we actually saw an exhibition about the hovercrafts that used to go from Dover. Yeah. I remember those when we were young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this is where they used to go from. This used to be the hoverport. Now it's the modern day marina. I mean, look at this. South of France, eat your heart out, right? Mm. There is a little uh, ice cream stand right there. I don't know if I'm brave enough just yet. Well, I'll tell you what, <sighs> if you're a good boy, yep. hopefully that little coffee cart will be down there as we walk back along the seafront. We'll have a coffee instead. Yeah, jackets are on by the way. Yeah. <laughs> is there a more iconic view than that though? I mean, look, Dover Castle, the white cliffs of Dover, good news is we're now gonna walk all the way along the seafront and then we've gotta go up the massive hill we're going to walk along the White Cliffs. Oh, great. <laughs> and then, uh, then we're going to visit Dover Castle in a little while as well. Are you having issues? <laughs> Let's go. Steampunk sauna? Yes, please. Well, I'll have to strip to me boxes. <laughs> Let's do it. There we go. There we go. You can't come to the seaside and not set foot on the beach. Did it. And this is where all those famous attempts to swim the channel start. I reckon you should give it a go. Let's go. At least there's a sauna here for when you get back. Warm me up. <laughs> oh yeah, you've got to swim back as well, by the way. I'm not coming to get you. Hey? You've got to swim back as well, I'm not coming to get you. And now I'm gonna get ferry back. There is actually somebody out there swimming though. Well, they're brave. I'm not quite that brave yet. I will go in there when we're in the middle of a heat wave and the water's really warm. Yes, the coffee cabin has come up trumps again. Bargain, two quid. Two quid and you get a free cheeky biscuit. We do love a Biscoff biscuit with a coffee. It's really friendly in there, that lady. She has warned us that walking up the White Cliffs, we are gonna get cold. Yeah. But, so, you know, we've got our coffee to warm us up. We're men, we can handle it. Wearing that top though, you do look a little bit like you've stolen it. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. Also, there was a woman in the queue in front of us for the coffee who's just about to go swimming in the ocean. Nope, not no, for me. Still not, not doing today. it. Uh-uh. <laughs> There'll be bluebirds over the white cliffs of Dover. So it begins, the gruelling hill climb to the white cliffs of Dover. I feel like the hoodie needs to come off now. Also, you didn't enjoy my singing apparently. No one else did either, I don't think. That's really rude. <laughs> there won't be any bluebirds over the white cliffs because I've scared them all away. Oh my God, he wasn't wrong. We've barely started this and I'm roasting. Um, Sun's burning the back of my neck. Oh, hang on. Do, 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 do. You're giving me sexy Hamburglar vibes. <laughs> Come here with your money. How are you doing? I'm so unfit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you enjoy that? No. <laughs> well, made it to the top now. I've done worse, but... No, I didn't enjoy that at all. Well, there might not be any bluebirds over the White Cliffs of Dover, but there is free roaming coos. Did you know 74 people have been killed by fatal attacks by cows in the last 24 years? Cute, aren't they? Great. Maybe that wasn't the best fact to deliver until we'd walked up here, because them ones are right by the path. 
I think if you get on one, I'll take your photo. If you turn around, the view is spectacular, by the way. Never turn your back to a cow. 74 people, remember, in 24 if turn, years. If I turn that way, look there, you look what's behind you. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. Not yeah. bad. Isn't that nice? I walked up that. I'm gonna take a photo of that. Please move to the side. Wow, it is easy to forget just how beautiful it is up here. Look at that. It's really stunning. Even with like the sea crashing into the rocks, like the different colors, absolutely stunning. And another thing we forget as well, being British and living here, yep. is just how many tourists come to see the White Cliffs of Dover. It is absolutely heaving up here today. I feel like we're the only locals here. Yeah, I feel like I you really may be right. It's great to see. We've heard so many different languages being spoken. We're playing like a little game. We're like, right, we're, we're trying to guess. There. Yeah. They're from America. <laughs> They're from here, they're from there. It's quite fun. Where are you from, Kent boy? <laughs> we're, we're from Kent, we're 20 minutes down the road. <laughs> also, he's just said he's conquering his fears because it is extremely high up here and we are walking this path that goes right on the edge. And I think it gets a little bit worse, just around there. It's fine, but when you, it gets very narrow and you're like richly, richly, literally on like the edge and sometimes I'm all right, but not most it's of the right time. until somebody comes the other way. Yeah, <laughs> then that, that gets scary. So what you're saying is you wouldn't want to be that guy right down there on the edge taking photos? <sighs> nope. Now the good news is if you don't fancy doing the hill climb up here, there is a car park at the top run yep. by National Trust, yep. free for members. If you hadn't guessed by that, we're members. It gets even better for us than that here in Dover. Dover Castle is owned by English Heritage. And we're members, baby. Cut us with our sexy pink admission bands on. We look important. I've just realized now, you've got the burglar top and the tag to go with it. <laughs> Take me to the castle. Hey, you down there. Don't worry, Sarge, I'll get them. We've been spotted. Run. <laughs> I've got the weapon. Fighting back. Put to work for your crimes, I see. Ooh, I've got to earn me lunch somehow, haven't I? <laughs> That's it, you just take a pew. We've only on the first floor. You've been making me walk all up these cliffs, all round the town. You've got to go to the top of the tower yet. This castle's like a maze anyway, it's absolutely I huge. Know, I know. We've found our way into the chapel and there's like this really bright stained glass window with the sunshine over it, which is kind of cool. We've just been in the great hall as well, thrown for me, thrown for my queen, and then there's a little chair next to it for Twinkle. <laughs> That's our cat for anyone that does not know. Does not? Does not, does not know. That was really cool. One of the stained really glass cool. windows is just reflecting onto the floor. So pretty. <laughs> Always down. a bit strange that you have to go back down the steps to go up to the roof. That's exactly what I was about to say. The woman down the bottom also did warn us about how windy it is up the top, so uh, you might want to hold onto your wig. I chopped my wig off last week. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Well, we made it up all the stairs to the very tippity top of the castle. No good hiding in there from the wind. Oh, it's, you're not going to see the views from in there. It's got a little bit of a nip in that wind and I don't like it. The views are amazing though. I know they look really You can nice. see right over the port, right over the town. And then if you look out the other side, you can see the Roman lighthouse, the church, the sea. You can even see France, Vivre la France. I'll tell you what. Actually, if you put a beret on and painted your face, you actually would look like a French mime. What I was going to say, I'll tell you what, I watched the video. <laughs> <laughs> Can you mime the video? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Brilliant. <laughs> Oscar incoming. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> You also get a really good view over to the White Cliffs where we were literally walking just a minute ago. Unless, of course, you're hiding in the corner still. <laughs> no. Come on. He's ready to go down. Come on. Oh, Josh, I think you're going to be happier in this bit. It looks like they're setting up for a banquet. 
What's for dinner? <laughs> He's been going on about a sausage roll for about the last three hours. Yeah, I want to go Greg's after it. I don't think they'd have had them back in the 1200s. Do you reckon they got Greg's here? <laughs> no, I don't think they've got a Greg's in the castle. <laughs> got a pig's head though. Nah. We've made it into the kitchen. There weren't sound effects last time we came here. This is new. No, I think that's new. But um, if you're going to get a sausage roll, this is going to be where you get it. Well, you cannot come to Dover and not visit Dover Castle. The highlight of the Grey Tower itself, though, is definitely the views from the top and that kitchen in the basement is pretty cool as well. I feel like the, the rest of the castle could benefit from a few more sound effects and stuff going on because it's a bit dry. It's dry and too Very quiet. quiet as yeah. soon as you get into the kitchen, you're like, oh. Cool. Having said that, there is a lot more here to do than just that. We've literally just been and seen the Roman lighthouse, which was built in the first century. Like It's like 1900 years ago it stood on that site. It's quite, uh, quite old. That is very old. We were going to go and walk the ramparts as well. You can walk all the way around the battlements and everything here where there's cannon and stuff. I suggested it to Josh and his answer just now was... No. <laughs> <laughs> Do not be deceived by the blue skies and the sunshine here today. The wind has really whipped up this afternoon. Really bitter and it really like tires you out. Is what this is all about. Blowing a hoolie out there. Yes. <laughs> it really is. Um, and there is secret wartime tunnels here as well. You can go and do a tour of those. The tour lasts an hour. Um, unfortunately for us, we came here at the end of the day. And I think the last tour is like something like 10 to 4. 10 to 4. Even though the castle is open until 5, obviously because the tour takes an hour, they stop an hour and 10 minutes before the castle shuts. So um, we missed that today. Don't make the mistake we did because it's definitely a highlight here. We have done that before, both of us. Yep. Um, and it's definitely worth doing. Oh, you took your tag off. You are free. I'm free. <laughs> I'm on bail. Another great thing about Dover is just around the coast from here is possibly Britain's coolest seaside resort, Folkestone. We absolutely love Folkestone. And if you want to see our video there from last summer, then click the video over Josh's face now and join us just around the coast. It was warmer that day. A lot warmer. <laughs> you weren't moaning about the wind. You didn't look like a robber either.